In this video, I'll show you how to add a booking calendar to your website so that your potential customers can easily schedule an appointment with you. And you can even ask them to pay before they book anything. Once they book, the meeting will appear in your and your customers' calendars automatically. On top of that, your new appointment booking calendar will automatically sync with your real calendars. To achieve all of this, we will use a tool called Brevo, which has a free plan to get you started. This will work on any website platform, be that uh, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and so on. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and I help creators with their tech side of their business. So let's get started by going to thebrevo.com. And by the way, Brevo is also the sponsor of this video. If you don't have a Brevo account yet, then sign up by using my link, which is down below in the description, and you will save 50% on Brevo starter and business plans for the first three months on an annual subscription. There's also a coupon code down there. So you land on Brevo's homepage. So go ahead and just sign up for free and create an account. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna go into my dashboard and here you're in the homepage. So you can ignore for now all of these except meetings. That's where we're gonna work for this video. But just so you know, Brevo actually has three kind of distinct platforms in one. So you have the email marketing platform. These are the menus that you would use. Then you have the conversational platform, which is you can create chatbots, you have WhatsApp messaging and SMS. And then you have the sales platform, which is deals and meetings. And deals is more of a, if you have leads and you need to nurture them, uh, you can keep track of what stage of the sales cycle they are and things like that. So it's really useful. But today we're just going to look at meetings. So if we go inside meetings, uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Let's just create a meeting type from here. So first you need to decide what type of meeting you're creating. Are you creating one with just one host or you have a rotating host? I would say for most of you, you're just gonna use this one. So we're gonna select the one host and now we can give this meeting a name. So mine will be Website Clinic Express. This is, will be a 30 minute one. I like to just indicate already in the title how long it is. Then we have video call with Brevo, video call with Zoom and so on. So you can choose here if you're gonna use, for example, a Zoom or Google Meet. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just put the external tool because you can place a link here. Or we can also select Google Meet. But for this, we would need to connect to Google. And I'm going to do that, but a bit later in this video. For now, I'm just going to choose the video with external tool. And I'll just add here a placeholder for now, because I want to show you how it would work. Then I um, need to add a description. So I already prepared something like this. And then the duration. Well, I already stated here, so it's easy. I'm going to select 30 minutes. Uh, here, uh, you can choose if you're going to show this uh, meeting also on a main booking page. Mo main booking page is like your profile pic with all the meetings you have in, in Brevo. So you can choose if you want to show it from here. For now, I will. And then you have the option to charge for the meeting. So basically, the uh, potential customer will pay you first and then you have the meeting. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you a bit later how to set this up. Then the next one is when are you available? So these are the default times. Uh, you can either use the default times, you can adjust them in the settings. Oh, and by the way, I recommend using the one in the settings, the default one. So then you have one availability for all of your meetings. However, if you wanna set something specific for this meeting, I'll show you how to override it just in here. Or you can disable this and then you can adjust from here. So it's quite simple. You know, you probably don't want to be available all of this time. So I would just add more. So if you want to, let's say here, I'll be uh, available from 9 to 11 on Monday. And then I need to add also Monday. And let's say it will be somewhere from like 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So this is the availability on Monday. Then the next settings uh, you can set from here. Let's go configure the time slots. So uh, based on the meeting duration, then you can select the start time increment. So how often can somebody book? So for example, every 30 minutes. In that case, they can book times, for example, at 10.30, 11, 11.30, 12. So every half an hour. Then break between meetings. Uh, you don't want to be back-to-back uh, -back meetings. Maybe you want to leave a five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever that is. Just leave a bit of a break because usually you'll have a bit of a overlap. Then I want to send a reminder before the meeting. So one hour before it'll send an email. So from here you can select uh, how much beforehand and then you can set the link for this meeting. So it's not showing the whole link, but what you can do is you just come here and say, uh, okay, I want the link to say website clinic express 30 minutes. You can change this. 
Uh, you could just have a website clinic uh, or anything like that. I'm going to keep it to what it's uh, adding here. It's fine for me. And then after people have signed up, after they booked a meeting with you, do you want them to redirect to a certain page? This could be a questionnaire page or it could be also just like a thank you page. For now, I'm not going to do anything, but uh, I'm going to just have a placeholder there so you can see that it's actually doing it. So I'm just going to place my website here and say thank you and we'll see that it will work that way. But you could keep this just empty and in that case, it will just show a message like thank you for your submission directly in the booking calendar. And the next one is that you have the ability to ask questions from the participants. So while they're booking, they need to fill in these questions so that you can learn more about them. Uh, Brevo is also saying here, you don't need to ask for the contact details. They'll do that already. Uh, so we can ask some questions here. Let's say I want to ask a question. Something like, what's the one main thing you'd like to get out of this call? Uh, and then I'll have another question. Uh, I want to know about their website. So uh, what is your website URL? So they'll be able to answer that. And you can see that the answer is required. So let's save the meeting type. And now you see I have two meetings here. And this is my booking page, which is basically the profile uh, page. So if I copy this link now and I just come here and open it. So I paste it in in the browser. You can see this is my uh, booking calendar. Now, right now it looks a little empty because we haven't filled in uh, information about us for the profile picture. So let's do that because this looks a bit boring. Okay, let's next update booking page. This page is where people can see all your meetings in one page. And don't forget that at the end of this video, I'll show you how to charge for your meetings as well. That way you can offer paid consultations calls to your customer. Let's go back to Brevo. So here in meetings, you just come and click on edit on this one on the booking page. You can give it a title. Right now it's just tips with punch, but maybe I want to change that. So for example, my page description will be like this. Then I can choose a profile picture. Let's uh, quickly choose one. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay. It shows up there. You can also add a logo or a fav icon. So I'm going to add it from here. Let's see if I can find one. This one. So notice how this little icon now changed. Now it's my logo. And uh, let's see if a logo will change anything here. There you go. Now you'll notice that, okay, now they don't match, but you get the point. And this page just comes alive when you add a bit of uh, images there. Then uh, you have the option to remove the Brevo branding, but only if you upgrade. We're going to talk about that in a second. Then you can choose also page color, but it's basically these borders here. So if you use certain color, if you have a brand color, you could choose from here. Uh, mine is kind of yellow for, for this one. So I'll just pick something like that. Then this is the main booking page link. So you can adjust from here, but because this is on Brevo, it might be already, uh, you know, taken. So go ahead and change it to whatever you like. But this is your overall booking page where you can see all of your uh, meetings. So here I have two as you notice. Okay, then let's save the booking page. And now if I go back here and I refresh this, you'll notice uh, the logo appears. My, my image is also here, a bit of information. And now I can just select from here. Uh, for example, Monday, uh, let's say, you see how there's a gap between the times because I said that earlier. So we have here nine till 11 basically, and then two to four. Perfect. So I'm going to select 9.30. Now you just fill in your details here and notice our country and phone number. They are not required. So it's not like people need to fill it in. And here we have our questions and also the website URL. This is where people would add. And if they want, they can also add a note and then uh, they just need to agree to the terms and services and then book now. So then this way you and your customer will get an uh, invitation for this meeting. And just to show you quickly how this all works, I filled in with the test data. So I'm going to click on book now. And you can see that it went to the thank you page, uh, which I, it doesn't exist on my website, but I just wanted to show you that it uh, works this way. So you can set where they go. If you don't set anything, it will just stay in the booking calendar and it will just say thank you or something like that. So that's an option as well. And then this is the email I receive as the host. So this is the information and you can see it's been added to my calendar as well. And this is the person who booked the meeting. This is uh, also email to them. Here you'll notice that it just adds it directly to the calendar. So um, that's great. Now I have a meeting invite where I can join. You see here 
uh, join by video call. This is the URL, and then you have the reschedule or cancel. So they'll be able to uh, control everything here. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to get rid of this branding, you would need to upgrade to the paid plan. And if we take a look at the paid plans on Brevo, you need to go to Brevo's pricing page. And here you select sales platform. That's what we're looking at now. And it's nine euros per month. Uh, in dollars, it will be, I think, nine dollars a month as well. So uh, check it out if you want the, the branding go to go away. Otherwise, you keep all the other features. Uh, you can see all of them here. Uh, there, there, there's quite a lot of things because not only do you get the meetings, you also get the deals, which then Brevo is actually a customer relationship management platform, so CRM. So you get a lot of features on top of just having the meetings. And CRM helps you organize, track, and manage interactions with your leads or customers in just one place. Uh, it's like a smart address book and they remind you to follow up with your customers, uh, keeps a history of the communication and helps you move people through the sales cycle. So then uh, let me show you how to connect Brevo with Outlook or Google Calendar. This way you don't have to manage two different calendars, but instead Brevo will sync your available times from your real calendar. So right now the calendar is, you have to update it manually. Well, how could you make it automatic so it syncs with your actual calendar? Well, if you go to Brevo and here we can come to uh, the availability and see here connected calendars, let's go there and you have the option to connect either to uh, Google Calendar or um, Outlook. So let's go, I'm gonna connect with Google Calendar just to show you how this works. It's pretty simple, you just need to log in or connect your Google account with Brevo. So I'm gonna just do it right now. And now it's asking, hey, uh, do you want to give Brevo access to your Google account? Yes, I do, because it's gonna grab that information from my calendar. And now you see it's connected, great. But you didn't see anything happening. It, it didn't really tell you much, but if you go back to your meeting and let's refresh this page. Now, uh, notice how I have here my calendar. So notice how I have here two hours where I'm booked on Monday the 12th. So if I come here, Monday the 12th, notice how there's nothing available here except 9 a.m. because uh, 9.30 is also not available because uh, I want to have a half an hour break or was it 15 minutes? So it's not going to add anything there. Now, if I add something more here and then I come here, refresh this page, go to 12th, you see that just disappeared. This will make your life so much easier because now uh, you don't need to manage two different calendars, but once you sync them up, this is what you can do. Next, let's add this booking calendar to your website or as an email signature. Okay, so what if you want to add this uh, calendar somewhere? What if you want to share it? So you could share the URL. Okay, that's great. But what if you want to have this calendar on your website? That's pretty simple. You just come here. Uh, we go to the meetings and from here, more and share. So now we want to share this meeting and you have a few options. You have the button opening a booking form. This is basically a URL with the button. You can see it looks like this one. Honestly, I wouldn't use this uh, this code for the button. I would just create your own button in your software and then just place that URL there. It's just easier that way and you have more control. But what's cool, you can use this embedded booking page. So if you copy this code and I have here my website already, this is in WordPress and Elementor, but any page builder will have this feature. So what you need to do is come here and search for HTML element. So HTML, now I can drag it in place here. And now I can add that code from Brevo to uh, my HTML code. So now it shows up here. So let me preview this website. Now you see I already prepared everything else. And here we have the booking calendar. You'll notice that it has the details here and we are able to select the dates from here. You see exactly how we saw them earlier. Now you see it's uh, with the, this background, I'm not sure I like it. In Elementor, in WordPress, I would just come here and adjust here the background. I want it to be white. Right now I think it's just transparent. So if I add it like this, then it will have a white background. The other way you can share this booking is add it to your email signature. So if you click here, you'll see that you have the options here to select which meeting you want to share. Then you can add your details here, website link and so on. And you have a button book a meeting. So copy signature. And now if I go to my email, I could write the email. And now if you would click on this button, it will take you to that Brevos meeting. So again, you can just select your dates from here and so on. 
And by the way, I don't know if you remember a few minutes ago how I set the meeting to take place in external tool. Well, now it's time to change that to Zoom or Google Meet. Now, right now, the meeting would just send an external tool link, but I actually wanted to send out a Google Meet link. How do I do that? Well, now we go back to meetings and here in, uh, we go in more edit. And from here, when we select it, you see video call with external tool, I can select Google Meet and now say the meeting type. And since it's already connected with Google, it will do everything automatically for me. So now I don't need to worry uh, to send them always to different URLs or anything like that. It will just create that automatically. Okay, next, let me show you how you can get paid for your meetings. This means the customer has to pay first before they can book a meeting with you. Well, for that, you just head to settings and here you have payments. And now you would need to connect to Stripe. So from here, activate Stripe. And if you don't have a Stripe account, you would need to create it. It will ask you quite a lot of details, but if you create it, pretty much all the tools in, in, in the world that are online are connected to Stripe. Stripe is probably the most uh, popular payment provider besides PayPal. So definitely just create an account. You'll need it with pretty much any tool that you want to get payments from. So I already have some accounts here. I could connect from here. So uh, let me do that. You see now uh, it's connected. And if you go to payment settings, you also can set the currency and the VAT from here if you want and your cancellation policy. So for example, you could say, okay, free until 48 hours before the meeting, 75 or a really strict one. So something like this, uh, up to you what you set, uh, maybe flexible is the way to go. So let's save payment settings. And now if we go back to meetings and we go back to this meeting and here in the first one, what meeting do you want to propose? Then you have your charge for this meeting. You can say the price, let's say 49 uh, euros for 30 minutes. That's cool. Save the meeting type. And now let's copy this link and I open it up again. Oh, I have it here. Let me just refresh this page. So now let's say I want to book a time from here. Continue. Uh, let me fill this in. Okay. I just filled it in. And if you go to the next page, you notice you can add your credit card details here so you can pay and then you'll book the meeting for you. Super easy way to charge for clients for your time, for your knowledge. As long as you provide a great meeting about lots of value, this is a, a good way to make some extra cash. Now you know how to set up booking calendar on your website, but learning to use Brevo email marketing platform to its full potential takes time. That's why I created this video right here where I'll teach you step by step how to use Brevo email marketing platform to send emails, create forms and use automation features.